So for our third proclamation, I'm gonna hand it over to Council Member Sarah Moore for National Suicide Awareness Month. Thank you. Um, whereas it is estimated that over 2,900 hospitalizations in Washington were linked to intentional self-harm, and whereas in 2020, 1,211 people in Washington died by suicide, making suicide the 10th leading cause of death for Washington residents. And whereas in 2020, 221 veterans and military personnel died by suicide in Washington state. And whereas suicide most often occurs when stressors exceed the current coping abilities of someone living with a mental health condition, and whereas the past year has presented our communities with challenges and led to transitions that expected or unexpected, welcomed or not, can be unsettling, disorienting, and stressful. And whereas knowing the signs of suicide, finding the words to communicate with someone they are concerned about and reaching out to local resources to find help is difficult. And whereas many people who died by suicide did not receive effective behavioral health services due to barriers, to accessing service by healthcare providers trained in best practices to reduce suicide risk and to fear and discrimination surrounding the use of behavioral health treatment and the stigma of discussing suicide with loved ones. And whereas September is Suicide Prevention Month and it provides the opportunity to educate our community about the warning signs of suicide and how to reach out and connect to those experiencing emotional crisis. Now, therefore, the City Council of the City of Burien, Washington, does hereby ask all Burien community members to join together to proclaim September 22nd as Suicide Prevention Month in the City of Burien and urges all community members to play a role in suicide prevention and to promote mental health and wellness as we strive towards zero suicides. And we have, I believe, two recipients or just just we have we have one amazing recipient um representative tina orwell council member sarah we also have um a representative from novos and multicare on zoom as well thank you Well, it's an honor to be here tonight. Uh, Tina Orwell, State Rep from the 33rd um, Mayor, Council Member, special thank you to you, uh, Council Member Sarah Moore, for reaching out. And, you know, I know this is an area we've often talked about and that, that you care very passionately about this issue. And I, the one update I really want to share is that 988, which is a three digit behavioral health line, went live July 16th. I'm really proud of our state and our partnerships. Uh, we were one of four states that actually passed pretty comprehensive legislation uh, that has a fee. We tripled our three call centers in the state. Uh, we have um, one of the few states that has a text and chat line up and running, which is especially important for youth that are struggling. And uh, we also have the first in the country, the native and strong line which is actually um, answered by tribal behavioral health specialists, which will be starting this week. Uh, the next two phases of 988 are really partnerships. And so they're the rapid response services to make sure there's a clinical response for, I think we think 90% of the calls are resolved on the phone, but for those that need outreach. And the other is a crisis alternative services. And we've been looking in Arizona and different models. Uh, one model is a 23 hour model. And our understanding is that King County would like to see um, five crisis campuses and uh, one will be in federal way. And we're really excited about a youth one and we'd love to see it in South King County. Uh, so we're doing some focus groups. The first one will be at the Youth Muslim Center in Burien will be our first focus group. And uh, we're bringing everyone together. So anyone who would like to participate in this, our next meeting will be a um, youth joining our planning group and discussing behavioral health issues. So I wanna thank you. Um, it's just a pleasure to partner with you. And I know working together that we can save lives. So thank you.